Hello and welcome to Product Reviews by Hooked on Tronics. Today we're going to talk about the Epicenter in Dash Based Processor by Audio Control. Now, Audio Control has been designing audio equipment for the reproduction of music in home and car stereo systems and for the measurement of sound in professional systems since 1977 and has been growing rapidly over the last decade. If you want the best bass possible, the Epicenter in Dash is the answer. It's a superb combination of bass enhancement circuits along with a microphone and a 160 dB sound pressure level display. It uses Audio Control's bass restoration circuitry. This circuit accurately recreates and injects low frequency information back into the signal path. In other words, it will give you more bass impact to your best compact discs, MP3 tracks, or even your old tapes. The Epicenter in-dash uses the power bass equalization circuit to help shape the enhanced bass to match your speaker system. The sound pressure level display will show real-time sound pressure level or hold the highest value that was measured. It will also display voltage so you can monitor your vehicle's electrical systems. In the back you have the connections for power, ground, remote turn-on, and illumination. RCA connectors for the next component after the Epicenter in dash such as a crossover, equalizer, or amplifier. The Epicenter in dash has a unique high impedance speaker level input that will interface with most factory installed source units and let you add amplifiers and speakers. It also offers a very high fidelity sound quality input. It has two sets of quick inputs, main and speaker level, for either RCA jacks or speaker leads. On the top, there is a drawing of an internal jumper for selecting balanced or unbalanced input. For most systems, you can leave this jumper set in the balanced position. Two more drawings on top are of internal jumpers for illumination selector to enable switching the backlight illumination from blue to red and the ground isolation selector for alternative grounding connections. Now let's talk about the front panel. The bass restoration control known as the knob controls how much of the restored bass is added to your audio signal. Next is the restoration switch. By pushing it in you engage the bass restoration circuit. Right after that you have the power bass controls two knobs that control the power base equalization functions. Simply by using the frequency and the width knobs, you can select the frequency and bandwidth for the enhanced bass action. The decibels volt switch for selecting whether the display on your epicenter in dash is showing sound pressure levels in decibels or electrical levels in volts. The peak hold switch, when engaged, the display on your epicenter in dash will show the highest sound pressure level or voltage reading that it's measured. There are two indicators. One is the base restoration indicator and right above the high SPL warning indicator that comes on at 120 dBs to give you a gentle warning about how loud your system is. And the last one, a 160 decibel microphone that measures your system's sound pressure level. The half-din epicenter in-dash chassis can be mounted easily in-dash or under-dash. Simply install this processor between your car's receiver and your amps and you will be amazed at how loud the bass that is coming out from your system can be. You can look for us on YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook and many other places for more product reviews. Thanks for joining us today and we hope to see you again soon.